Welcome everybody. This is Storytime with Draven. Today's story, the story of rock. I find this to be the most important story ever written, and I read it to the little one multiple times a day. Let's begin. There's an old song that says, blues music has a soul. Then the blues had a baby, and they named it rock and roll. Chuck Berry came along with a guitar and made it sing. Then Elvis Presley shook things up, and the people crowned him king. Bob Dylan gave us poetry, the Rolling Stones brought style. And then with Beatlemania, rock made the world go wild. In the long summer of love, Janis Joplin's voice rang loud. The Who smashed their instruments, the dead jammed for the crowd. In 69 at Woodstock, hippies gathered all around. Hendrix wailed on his guitar. It was such an awesome sound. Aerosmith dreamed on, while Zeppelin played full blast. The Ramones played punk rock really, really fast. ACDC wore school uniforms while playing back in black. Scaramouche sang Queen as they brought opera back. David Bowie sang Let's Dance, oh the man knew how to dress. Tina Turner ruled the 80s, her voice was simply the best. 80s rock had big screams and even bigger hair. Slash couldn't see his guitar, Bon Jovi was living on a prayer. Pearl Jam and Nirvana rocked with the lights out. In Seattle, grunge was born, then ska fused with rock, no doubt. Weezer dressed like Buddy Holly, and their cruises were a ball. And who knew the White Stripes weren't brother and sister after all? Now some people say that rock is dead, most greats are in the sky. But the real truth is that rock and roll will never ever die. Thank you for listening to the story of rock. This has been Storytime with Draven. Good night.